Hello everyone, we are from team I like to move in and we are doing challenge 5. So we have 8 teammates, so this is all of our excellent and creative teammates. And for this project, we are doing an exercise application, which the main function is to try physical activities and translate the activities to waste removal. And the application have interactive visualization, geographical context and commentary. Moving on to elevator pitch, which is part of our vision for our solution. Our product is for our client company Glitz, who intends to encourage Glitz employees to be proactive in tackling the global impact of plastics. It is an eco travel companion app that accumulates the distance traveled by all users and visualizing their journey as one traveling around the world through an interactive map. Unlike other apps like Strava and Samsung Health, our product reduces negative impact of plastic waste through charity. These are the challenges we identified during our planning phase and how we decide to tackle them. For participants' information, we use Power App Data input form to capture the data. Second challenge, we locate the coordinates of all the officers' location using their address to display them on a map. Third challenge, we create routes between these officers to map and show their journey. Next challenge, we, can, we add progress bar to show participants' progress towards the goal. And lastly, we create a report with how many plastic removal is achieved to show, to show the challenge contribution. So, our solution focuses on two main objectives, which are the first one is company objective, which it will follow the progression of all participants using visualization map that will foster the feeling of community between the employees. And another objective, which is charity objective, most importantly, it will reduce the negative impacts of plastic and may also encourage other businesses to implement the plastic removal waste activity as well. On to the values, this project requires participation of all users which are the employees of the company and adheres to the UN's 2030 Sustainable Goals. It is also low effort and high value. It is easy for the production team to create and maintain any updates of the app and is also impactful to consumers and environment. It also opens up more options for the employees to commute to work, which encourages healthier lifestyle, reduces traffic congestion, and is environmental friendly. Move it app. This is what the app will look like. On the left hand side, this is exactly what the participants will see once they're entering their information. Employee ID, very straightforward. Participants just need to put in their first few letters of their name and would immediately see their name appear and just select. Date is straightforward, just select the date and press OK down at the bottom on the right hand side. Activity type is a drop down list, so you just simply just select the activity, whether it's swimming or cycling. Distance is a free text, so you just simply just put in the number. Country location, office location, city. Again, just like the employee ID, they just simply just put in the first few letters and they will see the city and the country appear on the drop down list. So don't worry, you don't have to put in the full word of United Kingdom. This slide is able to show you where the information is stored when the participant has completed the app. The app that we called Move It. This is where the admin staff or senior management are able to pull a report from using the SharePoint list to export into Excel or even use Power BI to generate their report. So they're able to give a breakdown, for example, the amount of activities that the individuals have done, or they can break it down to city, employees, and so forth. The good thing about this, it is done automatically from the information that is um, done from the app. Again, if there's any amendment, so I, for example, you'll see that Letitia Reed has made an error on the distance. Again, going back on the previous slides, you can see that the participants here can go back into the app and make the amendment, and this is automatically updated on SharePoint list. So there is nothing here that they need to fall back on. On screen is page one of the proposed dashboard. As well as the Move It branding, we have a thermometer visual to track kilometers recorded, the locations of the office most recently reached on the virtual journey, as well as the next office to virtually visit, a slicer that can filter on employee or office performance, and an interactive map that plots the whole virtual journey to each of the Gleed's global offices. By hovering on each office location on the map, you will also discover some local trivia. The second screen of our dashboard breaks down the tracked activities by type, with each activity colour-coded to help visualise each of the completed activities. We have also included slices to drill down on the tracked activities by office and by country. 
if we are given more time, per se a month or a year, to finish this project, we will add interesting pop-up facts to encourage a sense of community between employees. We can also add some animation about the journey the employees' cumulative distance has covered, and also show some place of interest. Good question. Question one. We will need to investigate which tool can be used to create animations, travel destination information pop-ups, visualize the itinerary, and track the user progress. We will use advanced tools like Travel Map, Wonderboot, User Pylon, and Miro. We need to um, look at these tools and see which one could be uh, the best one to show what we need in our dashboard. Question two. We need to know who is our target user, what information they want to display, how they would like to access and interact with the data. That will help us to type off the data detail that we need. Question three. We need to be able to input data from different devices. We need to also include it interactive features in the dashboard, like a leaderboard to make them um, more attractive for users. Um, finally, um, we need a way to translate the kilometers done by users into kilograms of practice saved so they can see that the challenge that they are doing have a, a real purpose.